Hi, David Citroen here. I just this last week had a client um, who was feeling really stressed. He's running a business. He's got a partner that's, uh, you know, getting into his head and he's just they're not communicating well. Completely different personalities and uh, pressurized with cash flow and pressurized with logistics and all sorts of different things. Things that normal, like plenty of businesses out there, they are um, getting challenged with. Um, and sometimes the right decision is to stay and work well and, and resolve the uh, challenge and sometimes um, you know you need to assess is this the right business is this the right partner does this business model work um, but um, you know when the person's not sleeping well the person's not um, functioning well as a result then they're going from a place of just pain of the situation and this might be your situation as well the pain of the situation to also suffering from the situation let me give you an example Let's say I stood on your foot and I told you that I'm going to get off after 10 seconds. Is your suffering as bad if you know that I'm getting off after 10 seconds? Most people would say that their suffering is less because they know that the situation is temporary. And that's what I suggest that you do if you're in this sort of situation. If you're in this sort of situation, then it's important that you give yourself an amount of time to assess the situation and say, look, you know, there are many other options out there. I could start other businesses. I could work for someone. I, you know, could get employment. Um, I could find a new partner. I could work for myself or whatever. There's plenty of green pastures out there that look fantastic because everything looks fantastic from far away. Um, but the truth is, whenever you change your situation, you're going to get different challenges, different problems. So it's important to know that you have given 100% in your situation and that you haven't been distracted by FOMO of everything else. So what I say to people is give yourself a set amount of time that could be 45 days, it could be 90 days and set that 90 day period for yourself and say to yourself, well, look, in 90 days, I'm going to assess is do I need to move on? Do I need to, you know, change what I'm doing? Do I need to get out of my current employment? Do I need to uh, start a new business? Do I need to uh, find a new partner? Whatever it is. Um, but in that 90 days, there is no other option. And um, I'm going to give 100% of myself to this. Um, and this works for, you know, marriage partners as well, people who, you know, they're not giving 100% because they're looking outside the marriage and thinking, oh, I could be with other people and they wouldn't have these problems. And they don't give 100%. When you're sitting on the fence, always looking outside of your current situation, you're not going to give 100% to tending to your current pastures, to your own garden. So everyone else's garden looks increasingly better than yours, largely because, A, it's further away so you don't see the real problems and B because you're not tending to your own garden because you're sitting on the fence looking at everyone else's gardens so it's important to spend 100% of your time being 100% dedicated like there is just you and the business and Adam and Eva there is no other option out there there is only my partnership or my current situation for this time period and by putting a, a barrier of 90 days on it it's not like feeling like an endless situation, but you can say to yourself, look, after 90 days, I'm going to be able to assess this properly on whether it is worthwhile, whether it's the right situation for me, etc. Because I did my due diligence, because I gave 100%. So you're not going to be able to make a proper assessment after 90 days unless you commit 100% to that 90 days that I am going to put everything into it to make this business or this employment or whatever it is work. And when you do that, you then get a relief because you're not trapped in the situation forever. And the mind tells you, oh, you're in it forever. No, you say to yourself, look, 90 days from now is whatever. Um, you know, you, it's in February and I'm going to give myself that set date and, um, and I'm going to assess it then based on that I did everything I could do in this time. And when you do that, you'll find yourself getting a lot of relief. You'll sleep better at night. You'll put 100%. You'll put much more into the situation. And then you'll truly know if this career is right for you, if this business is right for you, if this experiment is right for you. But you can't know if it's right for you when you're 50-50 on something. Give yourself an experimental time. And in that time, be 100% committed.